Hi there. In this tutorial series, I'm going to be talking about Python and Maya. Python is a commonly used scripting language, and I really like teaching it in the Maya environment because you get a, an idea of what you're doing whenever you run a command. So for instance, I just opened up the script editor here by clicking this icon right there. And if I do anything in the UI, what I'm actually doing is I'm executing MelScript. So if I come over and make a sphere, drag it on the grid, what we can see is we've actually got some code here that got generated. And what this is, is we're making a sphere, and when we've got some ingredients of that sphere, for instance, like what the radius is going to be, and what the, whether or not it's got construction history, and so on and so forth, we could, we'll definitely go through some of this stuff in more detail. But the point is, you can do something, and then Maya will tell you the mel that you just executed, and then what you can do is you can basically convert it to Python. So the reason that we're bothering to do Python rather than just sticking with Mel is Python lives outside of Maya in addition to living inside Maya. So the skills that you learn by doing scripting in, in Maya using Python are transferable to a lot of different applications. So to get started, let's just go back and I'll show you one more time where the uh, script editor lives. It's going to be this little icon right down here. It's kind of small. So we'll just click it. And by default, you should have a Mel tab, but you may not have a Python tab. So I've got one here that I'm going to show you in a minute, and one that's empty. So if I want to add or remove tabs, I can go to Command and then Delete Tab to get rid of one. And to add a new one, I can right-click and then go to New Tab, and then select which language I want. In this case, it's going to be Python. So. The first thing that we've got to do with Python, because it's not native to Maya, we have to tell the Python to import all of the mel commands. So in this case, if I go back to our little sphere here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this from interactive creation to the default settings, so that I could just uh, select sphere and it'll make one. So this little thing right here, where it says sphere, that is the command. So what you can do in Python to get the same result is you can just write sphere. But we've got to do one thing, because Python doesn't have any idea what sphere means, because sphere lives in a library that is called Maya commands. So the first thing that we've got to do is import the maya.cmds library. So that's basically telling Python where it can go and find sphere and all of the zillions of other commands that, that Maya has available to it. And the way that we would need to sort of tell Python where to look is we would say something like cmds.sphere. So it understands that this and this is kind of the address of where the, the sphere lives. But cmds is a little bit long. Who has time to type four letters? So what we can do is we can do we can add a little thing at the end here that says as mc. And let me zoom in a little bit. So the way to zoom is hold the control button and do a middle mouse scroll. So now I can just say MC sphere. And when I run this code, I get a sphere. So if I did not have this import in here, it would have given me an error. But once you run it one time per Maya session, you're good to go. It doesn't need to be rerun, but it doesn't really cost anything to run it. So it's a good idea just out of uh, uh, it's like step one, whenever you're writing a script, go ahead and write import maya.cmds as mc. And what you can see here is import is green. What that means is Python understands that import is a reserved word. So it's going to go ahead and make it so that you can't make a variable or something called import. And we can see here as well, sphere is blue. So that's uh, that's Python telling us it understands that Sphere is a command. Actually, I think it might be Python, uh, uh, Python, uh, Maya telling us that that Sphere is reserved. So every now and again, you'll see a word like for or in um, or and. So whenever it turns green like that, it's kind of a reserved thing. So you've got to make sure that you're not trying to assign that to a variable name. But uh, that is all that is required to get your Maya set up so that you can begin scripting in Python. 